Hi there, this is Dr. Connolly and welcome to Module 2. Each week there will be a podcast that I record typically the Thursday or Friday before the module opens. I'll give you some housekeeping, um, which is basically about any technical issues that have come up, some feedback from the previous module, and then an overview of the upcoming week. So first, some housekeeping, and I've got a whole bunch because this is the first week. So first of all, as many of you notice, there were some glitches when the class went live. Um, it looks like the system loaded last year's class and was sending you out messages that were based on dates from last year. Hopefully we've got that all cleaned up and any messages that you get from this point on should be real and that they should be from this year. Um, you can notice if I have really short hair on any of those messages that it's probably old. Um, but there are a couple of glitches that are still out there that we're working on. Um, modules 1, 2, 3, and 4 are fine, but don't pay attention to anything past Module 4. Right now they're a mess, and hopefully we'll get those taken care of this week. Okay, um, one other little um, element that we found was that on some syllabi, the homeworks were listed as worth 25 points each. Know that they're worth 50 points each. Um, so always use the current module to understand what's going on um, from that point on. Okay, um, next, anyone who needs support from Disability Support Services, make sure you contact them as soon as possible because then they send me and Melanie some, some information that we need to follow. Okay, uh, next, any the, your small groups will start this week. You'll notice that when you posted on your discussion thread that you got to see everyone, which is somewhat nice, so you get to see everyone in the class. But beginning next week, or this week, there will you'll be in a small group with between 20 and 25 students, and that will be your small group for the rest of the class. All right. Um, we received several questions about the homework. And just know, again, that there are three homeworks for the class, and they are due in weeks two, four, and six. But to give you the most time to complete the homework, the homeworks are repeated in modules one and two, right? Three and four, five and six. And so that's why it's duplicated, just to give you the maximum time possible to complete that homework. And then finally, in terms of housekeeping, you know, we've received several requests for exceptions, um, people going on vacation, things like that during exams, and know that you, you need to follow what the syllabus says in terms of due dates, and that there'll be no exceptions for you know, your need to take the exam on one of the two day, days when, when it's open, okay? And so, you know, if this class isn't right for you, know that there are a couple of other sections of the class that open later in the in the summer if you'd prefer to do that. Okay, so that's it for the housekeeping. So now some feedback. By today, and I'm recording this on Friday morning, over half of you have done your initial post. Um, you're a great looking group uh, and Melanie wants you to know while that this isn't a competition with last year, so far you are doing far better than the students last year in terms of the, the quality and the insight of your initial post. So um, she says that you rock and congratulations and keep up the good work. All right, so moving on to module two. So this week, we'll have due first a thread of discussion post by Wednesday and your response by Sunday. All right, and in order to do that posting, you need to do all of the reading and um, watching of the videos ahead of time. Second, your first homework is due on Wednesday. Pay attention to what the homework requires you to do. All right, that will be absolutely critical in terms of your grade. So for example, the assignment has you do something right now, right? You know, not a recollection of something that happened in the past, but has you do some observations right now. 
All right, so make sure you do that. It also has you use a piece from the text. Make sure you do that. All right, so follow the instructions, and I hope you enjoy the homework. Um, it's, it's always a fun exercise. All right, and then third, our first exam is to be taken on Friday or Saturday. All right, you can look at the syllabus, but just as a reminder that the exam will be open for that 48 hours. The exam itself will take one hour, all right? It will be two questions, only two questions. Not every student will receive the same questions, all right? So there'll be two questions. It's open book, open note. All right, it is drawn wholly from the review questions. All right, so wholly from the review questions. So have your answers to those review questions out there and ready for you, okay? All right, so I'm expecting lots of good grades. If you have any questions um, about the exam or any access issues, make sure that you contact Melanie, but we have tested it, we've previewed it, and everything looks good. All right, so. Moving on to the last element of the podcast, which is this week's module. All right, module two on gender and socialization. So in terms of a roadmap, I'd suggest that after you listen to this podcast, you listen to the mini lecture on terms. These are terms that are core and basic to gender and women's studies. What do we mean by sex? What do we mean by gender, sexuality? What's heteronormativity? All right, you'll find that these, or the authors of our text in these terms are used repeatedly. Next, I'd suggest listening to the Kilbourne TED Talk. It too will set the stage for the readings. Jean Kilbourne has been doing this work at looking at gender in the media for decades. And if you like her work, um, you go on out and see some of her other videos. They're called Still Kill or Killing Us Softly and then Still Killing Us Softly. Um, they are great documentaries. So after these videos, I'd suggest that you turn to the readings. They all address gender socialization but complicate sex with race, ethnicity, and age. Also, begin to pay attention to how the authors make their points. What kind of research are they doing? So for example, Barry Thorne's work, for example, is non-participant observation with children at play. Um, She's a famous researcher that has looked at kids and socialization. And this is where we get that, that kind of concept of border work. What happens at the borders? And then with her, it's in particular, at, you know, where do kids, like boys and girls, right, play differently? And then when they come together and split apart. All right. Johnston and Taylor do a content analysis of two ad campaigns. Very, very different. All right. So pay attention to how our authors do their work. All right, after you do the readings in the text, sit back and enjoy the story Cousin Lewis, which takes a historical look at gender bending. And finally, after all of the readings, think about the Bates video about sexism. All right, and then do your threaded discussion based on all of the readings and your review of her campaign. All right, I wish you the best. All right, have a good week and good luck on that first exam. Bye-bye.